Okay, so a question was asked, how do you change the color of a brush once you create it? So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to grab the brush tool over here. I am inside of Illustrator and um, all right, and I'm just going to draw a stroke or yeah, or anything. I'm doing it with a mouse, so don't judge me. All right, so I'm going to select it because you have to select anything that you want to affect. So select it to affect it. Um, and I'm going to um, go to my properties panel. Let me move this out the way. And I'm going to go to give it a bigger stroke just for the heck of it. Um, and if you want to manipulate that stroke, you can click on the stroke here. And you can decide, you know, how you want the stroke to behave. I'm okay with it like this, but just know that you can do that. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to change the brush. So I'm going to click on here where it says brushes in my properties panel. And I'm going to just select another brush. If you don't have options over here, you can go to the dropout menu. And then you can go to open brush library. And then you can choose a library from there. I already have my brush in my panel, but um, I just wanted to show you how you can get that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a brush. I like this watercolor brush. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, and note that it went back to the default stroke. So I want to show you that it is going to do that, and it is um, indeed a watercolor brush. So from here, this is where I would increase it. Um, and one thing to note too, if I do this next step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the actual brush and I'm going to get some options in here, right? Um, and I have a lot of options of what I can do with brushes, flip it, you know, from stretching it, changing the, sh you know, how it uh, behaves and all that fun stuff. But the key thing that you want to pay attention to is this right here where it says colorization and it says method. What you're going to do is you're going to change it to tint, right? And note that it changed to black. Well, see where it says key color right here? You can actually, if you want, click on the eyedropper and you can select a different color from these colors if you'd like. Otherwise, um, so if I wanted to grab uh, maybe this beige, you know, I can grab the beige and I can change the key color. But none of that matters as much um, it just matters with the tinting the main thing is just to tint it when you hit okay it's gonna say um oh for mine the strokes in use blah, blah blah i can either apply the stroke or i can leave the stroke i'm just gonna apply it all right so now i have this stroke but let's suppose that's not the color that you want you didn't want this black. You kind of wanted your stroke to be a different color. Well, what you would do is you would go over here to your stroke, or you can go over here in your um, panel as well and change it here. I'm going to change it here. I'm double click, and I'm going to choose maybe a purple. Maybe I want something like that. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I can change the color to whatever um colors i want if you want now you decide you want it to be that pink you can do that as well so now you can change the colors of your um, brush stroke so that's how you change the color um uh, if you want to yeah you know, change the color of your brush stroke all right hope that helps i'll see you guys in the next video